I can't believe we haven't found a Pikachu yet. We've been searching for a long time. Oh, come on, Caterpie. Just, just deal with it. Come on. I'm just gonna save my game real quick, just in case I lose my save file. And I, I th this save file is like an hour and thirty minutes, so I might as well just save. I usually do this. Um, yeah, there's another file actually, but I usually do this after each um live stream session because um I don't want the file to be corrupted. Um, if I after the live stream if it gets corrupted, and then yeah, for the video file I mean, so where like lose the file and then. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I don't, I'm not explaining it well. But hopefully we can find a Pikachu soon. That'd be really nice. Oh yay, Pikachu right there. It's level 3, but I'll take it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use Peck, and hopefully won't faint it. There we go, okay. It's half HP, but I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. Anyway, it's going to use Grotto on my attack, but I'm still not going to use another Peck. So let's see if I can use a Pokeball. I have seven left, so I have seven tries to, you know, catch this Pikachu. It has a really, I mean, it's, a Pikachu has a different catch rate than like a rat does, so maybe it's different. Oh, we caught on the first Pokeball, oh, nice. After all that time, we finally found a Pikachu. Nice. Oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't read its Pokedex entry. We'll read it when we, when we, um, when we go back to the Pokedex. So I'll, I'll make a special trip and select my Pokedex real quick. But a nickname, I want to nickname this, um, Pikachu Thunder. Because Thunderbolt doesn't fit, and that's what I was a good drug name my Pikachu in this series, but you know, that's okay. So let's type in its nickname. And yeah, there we go, Thunder. So let's read its um, Pokedex entry real quick. Here's what your Pokedex looks like um, numerical mode, I guess. So let's scroll down to Pikachu. There we go. Okay, so number 25 in the Pokedex, Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. It's it, it, it's um one foot four in, it's one foot and four inches tall. Um, it weighs 13.2 pounds. The little like it looks like a little bear print actually, like a little badge um shape kind of thing for its footprint. Um, it has small electric socks. It has it has small electric sacks on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electric charges from its sacks. From the sacks in his cheeks, the red things on his cheeks, the red circles. Okay, so and there's a, there's a height there's a height comparison actually. So yeah, I think you can only catch yeah right there. Um, it said the appearance, um, area, but um, it said I think it's only I think you can only catch Pikachu in the rainforest or in the power plant. And the power plant is later on in the game, and it's like level 24, 25 in the wild. But in the rainforest, it's you know level um. Three to five in the reading for three or five in the reading forest. So I think you should just peck on this um, Caterpie, and there it goes down. So now that we got our fourth final team member of the game, that's good. So yeah. Okay, let's talk to you. What do you have to say? Have you noticed that the skinny trees on the roadside, uh, they can be cut down by a special Pokemon move? I hear. Uh, so the HMO won't cut. Yeah, I know that about that. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. Very, very, very cool words of advice. Do you know the um, evolution cancel technique? Um, when a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. Its technique is for raising Pokemon the way they are. So I'm gonna actually use that. Sh um, I'm gonna actually use that on Spear when it tries to evolve into Fear up to like level 22, I think, or 23, because it learns. It learns um, Aerialist leveling up as a Spearow, but only as a Spearow, so if I evolve into Fear, it can't learn Aerialist by leveling up. So that's what I'm going to do in the future. I'm going to heal up at the Pokemon Center, though. That was Route 3, I think. Let me just make sure. Hold on. Let me go back to that route. But I want to first heal my Pokemon up first. Of course. There we go. And we got this. This is route uh, two. Okay, so there's not a Pokemon I want to catch there, but um, we can also look at um, 
Thunder's um, summary and stuff, and ability and nature and all that good stuff. Summary. Okay, so it has a serious nature. Um, static for its ability, so paralyzes on contact sometimes. Okay, it has a chance to paralyze on contact moves like tackle or physical moves. Um, its speed is really good, and its special attack is good, and special defense and attack. They're pretty balanced stats for right now, but I'm just basing it off the single digit numbers. And no, Slender Shock and Grail. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Blaster up front, and we'll, ch we'll switch Fear, Fear Me with Thunder, I guess. And there we go. Let's go take on the gym. But first, I want to show off this guy who I don't know the name of, but his name is on Bulbapedia. I know that. So he's over here if you go east of um, Peter City. And this is actually the first place we can get a gym badge, too. First gym badge. You know, it's, you know you're a trainer, right? I saw I clicked out of the window. My bad. Um, yeah. You, um, you're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challenges. Follow me. I like this music. He just takes you to the gym, basically. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. Okay. I have. I think I have the right stuff. So here's the gym, and if you talk to this guy, he'll say, "Hell yeah! Do you want to dream? Do you dream big? Do you dare of dreaming big? Do you dare to dream of being coming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yes. And if you say no, he'll still say the same thing. All right, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out of the match is at the left of your Pokemon list. This list is at the left of your Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to see your opponent's party. That's exactly what we did. I I put I put um Blaster up front. So yeah. Oh no, actually. Ah, shoot. I clicked out the window again. I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong key. Pressed Alt instead of Z or A or X. I mean, X. There we go. So let's talk to the, Let's battle this guy. If this guy's option. We can go around him, but I want to just fight him for the experience. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Okay. Be, be like that. That's kind of mean, but whatever. Can't believe him sent out you, dude. Unless you do, it's four times weak to grass and water type moves. I have bubble, it's not the best, but it does a lot of damage because it's four times weak to, um, you know, water and grass moves, so. That's what I got. So there we go. One more bubble should faint this you dude. It's gonna use defense curl, okay. And it's gonna raise up its defense. And bubble attack. There we go. And this should faint it. That goes down, the, the G dude goes down, nice. Blaster grew a lot of experience and grew to level 10. That's nice. And Blaster also wins with Drill. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And he also has a um, Sandshrew too. So let's use Bubble again, I guess. Uh, by the way, Squirtle learns um, Bubble, uh, not Bubble Beam, but Water Gun at level 13. And then, you know, Bulbasaur learns. Um, Fine Whip at level 10, and I should tell you, if you started with, um, Charmander, just, well, I'd recommend leveling up Charmander to level 13 at least, so I can win Metal Claw, so it's a Steel-type move. It doesn't get same type attack bonus, but it's still good against the Rock-type, part of, um, Brock's Onyx and Geodude, and so, yeah, that's good, I guess. And then just work it away from there. So, that's my word of advice if you start with Charmander. So there we go, the Sentry goes down. Blaster View level 11. Nice, okay. But if we can't put Liam, darn, light years isn't time, it measures distance. Yeah, we got 222, we got 220 Poké Dollars. So let's talk to Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock. The, I'm the Peter Gym. I'm the Peter's Gym Leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokémon. My Pokémon are all, hard, all rock hard and have the true good determination. That's right, all my Pokémon are the rock type. Fwah, you're gonna challenge me knowing you'll lose? That's what a trainer's. That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Okay, I will. Here's Brock. He's the first gym leader of Kanto. He is the user of Rock type Pokemon. Leader Brock wants to battle. Sent us Geodude first, level 12. Okay, Blaster. Let's send. Let's use Bubble. And there we go. Take it. Oh, we didn't take it down, but one more bubble should faint this. 
you did and yeah it hits and there we go you did fainted there we go level 12 for blaster nice and this uh, next is Onyx. He's level 14. He's most likely faster than your Pokemon you battle against him, but he's a bind. Okay. There we go. Let's hope we can take this Onyx out in two bubbles. I believe we can. Okay. There we go. Bubble. It's, it's bind to mist. Bubble's gonna hit though, and there the Onyx should go down and faint. So that's good for us. It's super effective. There we go. We get a lot of experience too, by the way. And Blaster goes to level 13. It's gonna use, it's gonna try to win Water Gun. Yes, we wanted we want to win that move. And let's give it a Tail Whip. One, two, and poof. Blaster forgot Tail Whip, and Blaster learned Water Gun. Okay, it's nice. Bro um, player defeated the leader Brock. I took you for granted and so I lost. As proof of my beauty, I confer you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Go to receive the Boulder Badge from Brock. And this is the first, this is the only Boulder, this is the only badge you get while still in the battle, battle scene, so keep that in mind. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It enables you to use the Pokemon, the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash uh, to use it. Go to, yeah, we got 1400 Poké Dollars, so that's nice. Wait, take this with you. But I'll receive TM39, then the TM case, a, a TM technical machine case, and a technique for Pokemon. Using a tech TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, here's T anyways TM39 contains Rock Tube. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. That's good to know. So. Also, on these, on these statues, it's, it'll say, well, this one says, Peter is gym leader, leader Brock, when trainer is scary. Gary um, will always be will always beat a gym before you. It's programmed in the game for the video game. But then after you beat the gym leader, your name will also be on the statues too. But Gary's name is always going to be first. That's how they program the game. So, you know. Oh, by the way, there's a hidden item right here. If you go on this little t grass right here. If you press A, I believe right here, it's a Pokeball. There we go. And, yeah. If we, I'm gonna show off the uh, museum real quick, so we can we can buy a children's ticket for 50 Poké Dollars. Why not? Okay, and if we go right here, there's an there's an Aerodactyl fossil, a primitive and rare Pokémon. I shall be I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. This one says, like, Kabutops. Kabutops fossil, like, primitive and rare Pokemon. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. I asked my dad to catch me one. Okay, I have a Pikachu, they're pretty cool. Uh, yeah, a Pikachu soon, I promise. If you go in Verdian Forest, you can catch one at level 3 or level 5, depending on your luck. And it's a 5% appearance rate, dude, so keep that in mind. This month, we're running a space exhibit. Okay, that's cool. Space Shuttle. <laughs> it says Space Shuttle. And then this right here, there's one more display case, and it's about a moonstone. So yeah, a meteorite that fell from that moon, it's th it thought to be a moonstone. Okay. July 20th, 1969. Mankind first, its first set its foot on the moon that day. I, brought a, I bought a color t TV so just so I could watch the, that news. So that's really cool of you. That's a good date I guess for history too. Moonstone huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. Well a moonstone is an evolutionary stone where you can evolve Clefairy into Clefable, Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff into Nidorina into Nid Nido Queen and then Nidorino into Nido King so it's an evolutionary stone it's very pop it's very much needed if you want to evolve those kinds those Pokemon right there that I listed. I think that's all the Pokemon that can evolve by moonstone in this game. So yeah. In this generation, I should say. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. Pokemon to our Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Okay, let's take your Pokemon for a few seconds. There we go. 